how can you use the XYZ sensor that comes with every day from a machine as a measuring tool? So if you want to measure a feature, if you want to get the dimension or the position of a feature, this is kind of a little bit advanced programming. And I'm going to help you with that, Mark. My name is Jonas and welcome to Daytron Tech Talk. prepared this little part with a hole of 20 millimeters in diameter. We're going to measure this part a couple of times. I'm quickly putting it into the machine and then Jonas is going to explain the measuring cycles in simple. We have started with a new program. As we want to measure the part clamped in the vise, we need to move above the part. I'm going to use the command rapid for a fast movement over the part with a safe height of 15 millimeters above the surface. To measure the part or the hole in the part, I'm going to use the toolbox down in the next software and use the center point circle. It's an inner circle, it's a bore, a diameter of 20 millimeters, rotary angle is not relevant. The measuring vector in Z is how deep the probe is going under the surface to measure the actual hole. The measuring point is how deep, how far from the middle of the bore the probe is going in the direction, in this case in 12 millimeters to the left. As I know it's a 20 millimeter bore, so 12 millimeters will, ride out, uh, will be right outside of the uh, edge of the bore. When I now press the OK button, it's going to be pasted right inside my simple program. The circle measure is returning measuring data with info. When I now declare a variable, let's call it measured result equals the return of the circle measure cycle will return all of the uh, measurements inside this variable. To actually see what's inside this measurement, I can use the dot operator. So we see it's a measured position, dimension in X, in Y, in Z, measure transformation and measured, measured, measuring statistics. To actually use this, I'm going to use a dialog as some kind of feedback for the user. We are going to need a message. Let's say the bore diameter is and we need value to string to get it in this string and now there's the use of the dot operator as mentioned before measured result dot Let's say dimension in X. With this, I can actually start the program. Now that is actually a great function, thanks for this. And it's also interesting to see how we can get information and data from um, commands that come from the software with this kind of dot operator. So if we want to extend the program now with the X and Y position, um, not just the diameter, can you just quickly show us how to, how to program this, please? Absolutely. This is a second program I brought with me with a little more involved dialogue. Now here we see the string format. With the string format we actually can use parameters inside of our string. This colon f3 um, returns the number in the string with only three decimals as we don't need more. This is uh, the whole string so we can use it to actually use the, the enter keys to format it in the resulting dialog. I've added a caption as well, just to keep it tidy. 
Um, and this is just like before with the dot operator. I can add a fourth uh, parameter just to show you measuring result dot. And these are again the things I can use from the measurement before. With measured position x, I get the position in the x uh, axis. And with measure, measured position y, I get all the measurements from the y axis. And from the program before, we already know dimension in x is the diameter of the bore. With this program executed, the measuring cycle is the same, but we get another dialog result. As I've said before, a little bit of a more tidy uh, dialog message with the header measuring result and the positions of the measured cycle. Um, that's in x, <laughs> one thousandths of a millimeter, and in y as well, and again 19.996 millimeters. Now this is a nice function just to get the information on the display, but a lot of customers ask, is it possible to create like any, or to bring the data to some external program, formats, whatever. Can you just tell us a little, about, a little bit about that? We have the possibility, possibility in the simple editor to export CSV, so comma separated values, files to literally any place in the network from the machine with all the measurements we took from the uh, measurement cycle. So we can actually load it or import it into like Excel or any, any similar Anything. program and then work on with that, with mm -hmm. that data. So can we just uh, take a look at the program and, and what kind of commands we need there? Mm -hmm. With this file, I can export all the measurements to a CSV file. The only thing I need in the upper section of the program is the path where I want to save all my data. In this case, it's a network path. You literally can save it anywhere, to a USB stick, to a network, wherever you want. In the lower section of this program, I have used the file write command to use all, to save all the measurements we took from our measuring cycle and paste it in a CSV file. This is actually a great method of keeping track of measurements and I've already imported the data from our last measurements into my Excel sheet. So I can easily take those into external programs and yeah, like I, like I said, do some, some sort of, of protocol or whatever. Jonas, thank you for showing us the programming of this because it is kind of an advanced thing and uh, it's also, it was also for me very helpful here. It actually can be quite hard to understand such code even, this, uh, even in a short video like this. So fear not, we are actually going to provide all the simple data, all the simple files right under the video for everyone to download. Yeah, that's good. So we, we can all download the files and, and take a look in case we need it also for, for different types of commands. Once again, thank you, Jonas, for uh, joining this episode. Hope to, hope to have you here on stage a little bit more often in the future. It would be definitely helpful uh, when it comes to simple programming, right? It was a joy. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching this episode and hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.